Hey, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications. And also, don't forget to like my video and don't forget to follow my new Twitter page. Link will be in the description. And I'm out. What is good, YouTube? Your boy, Yusosa, finally back with another commentary. Been on vacation for about a week or some change. I'm finally back to try to upload a couple of videos while I was on vacation. Just want to be completely inactive. So, you know, I hope y'all had a great Christmas. Hope you've been slaying the Christmas news. Hope y'all are gearing up for the New Year's. Got to start off 2019 strong anyway. So, this uh, gameplay right here, basically the best class setup, in my opinion, to be dropping a lot of kills or 100 kills or even a nuke. And it's honestly my favorite, the KM57. And uh, on here, I got rapid fire, stock, suppressor, and hybrid mags. And you see I got four attachments. I don't use an optic anymore like how I used to. And um, I also got the ComSec device. I'm running Scavenger and Ghost. I only got two perks because, honestly, you really don't need a, a perk two. I mean, it's, it's good to have a perk two. You know, there's nothing wrong with running three perks. Normally, I'll probably either run Lightweight. But now, since I just hit Master Prestige, all my classes all my classes have a Gungo, except for my subs, I believe. So yeah, I on this class I don't run three perks just because you really don't need gun code. Depending on how you play, you can use gun go and or lightweight if you rush around a lot. But when you're rushing around a lot with a KN, in you know, the fact that it has rapid fire and it has stock, which can give you an advantage since the rapid fire helps you shoot faster since an assault rifle it normally has like a um a lower rate of fire compared to what it um has with rapid fire. Of course, and uh, stock will help you move around faster while you're aiming. And um, if you do it right, going around corners like tight corners and stuff, as long as you ADS is the second you run around that corner, you should be straight because Gungo helps you aim uh, quicker off out of the sprint. But if you ADS already around the corner, like ready, like you're not even sprinting anymore, you're already ADS, then you know you're more than likely going to win the gunfight. You know what I'm saying? As long as your aim is straight, but Call of Duty tends to be inconsistent you know and i'm pretty sure y'all all done experienced it before any gun i swear called it is just there inconsistent you know so sometimes you'll lose the gunfight you know it, it just all depends you know maybe the guy running around that corner the other corner has a, a nine millimeter sub the maddox a rampart and he just has two high cobbles and just beams you in the head or maybe even a shotgun or he just gets lucky and quick scopes you you know, anything could happen, or you get knifed. Oh man, I, I, ooh, I cannot wait to get that shit gold. But um, but anyway, you know, stuff like stuff happens. You know, it, it's the game. You know, nobody's perfect. All right, we all humans. Shit happens. Even when shit happens at the wrong time, when you about to get a nuke and you just die off with some bull. <laughs> so anyway, this gameplay right here, I'm showing y'all. I drop. I barely dropped a hundred kills. You know. But I mean, it, it was a hundred kills on my first, like my first couple of games in like over a week. So I'm even surprised I did that, because I tell you right now, when you don't play Call of Duty for a week and some change, or even longer, it don't even feel right to pick up a controller. For one, I hadn't picked up a controller over a week. So when I had picked it up and I had put my thumbs on that joystick, I was like, this don't even feel right. And I was like, I hadn't even played in a week and it feels like this. I was like, what the hell? You know, I've been playing on a PS4 for ages, and yet I, I go a week without playing it, and it don't even feel good. And I tell you, my aim was horrendous. It, like, it was just horrible. So, you know, it took me about, like, three games to get adjusted, sort of. You know, I could still feel like I, I wasn't there completely, but the fact that I even dropped 100 kills, uh, I can't even remember if I was even playing against, like, a whole squad of Christmas dudes. I just know that I was just going off. I mean, I went, like, what, 104 and 8? I mean, if you want to be technical, since I'm running an attack shopper in and what, strike team, I didn't get 100 gun kills, but I mean, 100 kills is 100 kills, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I still got the 100 kills. It just wasn't all with the gun. You know, my other 100 kill games, I'm pretty sure I might have gotten 100 kills with the gun, maybe even close, but 100 kills is 100 kills. I still did it after not even playing for over a week, so, you know, it, it felt good to even do that. So, you know, I guess I'll sort it back. But, um, but currently... I honestly, like, since Double XP has been going on, I, I was just going to take a break from trying to get Dark Matter because I was really, I'm just like, all right, so I hadn't played in a week. If I if I wasn't on vacation, I would have already been Master Prestige, though, no doubt about it. 
But since, you know, that week off, I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to worry about Dark Matter for now. I'm just going to be running around with my KN or a Maddox or something. I didn't even really use the Maddox that much. I used them. Actually, I used the Maddox like the first couple of games I started playing. It was terrible. For one, it, the Maddox is just not a gun that you want to use if you have bad aim. I'm sorry. Because that gun is, for one, is weak. I mean, it shoots fast, but it's weak at the same time. And then if you have really good aim with the Maddox, then you'll be you'll be straight. You know, you just be lasering people from a distance with that gun. It just does not fail. But it was failing me just because my aim was terrible. So literally the first game I used the K and I snapped. And then I think like the second game I dropped 100 kills. And I was like, okay, this K is about to be my main gun for the, for the main to double XP. Or at least until I get Mass Prestige, you know. Now I finally got Master Prestige. I'm like Master Prestige level 60 something, I think. And about time. I wish I, had, if I had just like maybe if I had brought my PS4, but no, nah, I, I wasn't even gonna do that. Now nah, I just, you know, it ain't nothing wrong with taking a break from Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? But um, I keep on moving my mic, so this thing's probably going in and out sometimes. But <laughs> but anyway, though, now that I finally hit Master Prestige, I'm going back on to grinding for Dark Matter, which is going to be annoying. Got one of my shotguns gold. I think it was it was the first one. I can't even remember the name of it. But now I'm working on this fucking SG-12 or something like that. Yeah. They had the SG-12. And luckily, it's double weapon XP. So what I might end up doing is, like, I'm going to just try and max out all my guns. Hopefully max out all my guns. That means, because I think I got the SG-12 left to max. Then I got these damn snipers. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Ready? I, for what I can't snipe. So... Maybe I might have like a little montage out. Let's just be sniping, and y'all go, y'all see how bad I am as a sniper. So, <laughs> I maybe I should try try and max out all my snipers on double weapon XP. I know the thing ends tomorrow. I really gotta hurry up though, to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. Cause honestly, I just hate using snipers, man. If it wasn't for that, I just I would have almost had all my shit gold or all my stuff uh, diamond. And then after that, I still got a launcher, which I think I only have like one more camel to get left. And then, of course, the combat knife, which honestly, the combat knife might, it, it sounds bad, but low key might not even be that hard to get because all you have to do is just get kills until you got to get the challenges where that might end up being something stupid. I swear, bro, I probably would break my controller working on that combat knife, but we'll see how that goes, though. People have been working me with that shit, so eh, who knows? Anyway, man, that's just about it. Though. I hope y'all really enjoyed this gameplay. I just really just been commentating on about everything pretty much. You know, I'm still be on the grind. But I'll be live streaming maybe later tonight. What's today? Monday? Yeah, I might live stream until about midnight or so just because of New Year's. And then I'll try and live stream tomorrow. Also getting the video uploaded as well. You know, I'm just trying to stay on the grind because, you know, once the semester starts, it's going to be tougher. So we'll see how that goes. 2019 is about to be something different, you know, just like everybody says. So we'll see how it go. I hopefully I can keep this more consistent. You know, hopefully one day I'll get big. You know, it, it just it's just all about if you get this. I, I don't even know to be honest. You know, we'll just see how it goes. I really like playing Call of Duty, but this has honestly been the best my best Call of Duty since Black Ops 2. Like I hadn't even had a KD this high. Yeah, since Black Ops. 2. Well, actually, no, Infinite had like a three, but. This Call of Duty has just been something else, though. I'm surprised I've been doing this well. And at some point, I had a 5 KD, but honestly, at this point, I don't even really care about KD. But because I'm for one, I'm working on Dark Matter, that thing dropped my KD like a motherfucker. So I was just like, you know, I don't even care no more. I know where I stand at with this game. And the fact that I mean, I majority of the games that I played are solo compared to other people. Like I'm not going, I'm not talking shit about anybody, but like. A lot of people, I mean, because this game re kind of requires you to play with a party, almost. Like, I don't know why, but, like, the team balancing on here sucks. When I, Even when I play solo, like, Mercenary Mosh Pit, team balances sucks like ass. Like, I'll probably do get more into this later, but, um, in another video. But it sucks. And so it almost seems like you have to run with a party, almost. So, you know, just, <laughs> I don't even know, man. That's why a lot of people have like such high win losses and high KDs. It it almost doesn't even make any sense though. You really didn't see this kind of stuff in the older Call of Duties though. So that's all I can say. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this gameplay, man. Hit that like and subscribe if y'all new. And I'm out.
sensor data up. Sensor going live. Nowhere to hide. They were dead from the front. Purifier removed. Ruin gone. My systems are hacked. Friendly tack deploy beacon offline. Activating disruptor. Right down. 